dad is come from France to view this land and throw it with his friends. To some, perhaps, my name is obvious, but such as not me, guard me from the tongues and let them know that I am Machiavelli. Sir, we saw them not. Hmm. We like the coast they run by Kenny Shore by the oils or the businesses. 
but it was ill done of you to come so far without the end or conduct of the ships. Sir, we were wafted by a Spanish fleet that never left us till within a league that had the galley of the Turks in chase. Ay, oh, they were going up to Sicily. Well, go and beat the merchants and my men dispatch, and come ashore and see the fraud discharge. I go. Thus draws our fortune in by land and sea, and thus that we are every side enriched. These are the blessings promised to the Jews, and herein was all Abraham's happiness. What more may heaven do for earthly men than those to pour out plenty in their laps? Ripping the bowels of the earth for them, making the seas the servants and the winds to drive the substance with successful blast? Who hated me but for my happiness? Or who is the honored but for his wealth? Rather had I, a Jew, be hated thus than pitied in a Christian poverty. For I can see no fruits in all their faith, but malice, falsehood, and excessive pride which make things fit not their profession. Happily, some hapless men have conscience, and for his conscience lives in beggary. They say we are scattered nation. I cannot tell. But we have scampered up more wealth by far than those that brag of faith. There is Kyria Jerry, the great Jew of Greece, Obed in Berset, Nones in Portugal, myself in Malta, some in Italy, many in France, and wealthy everyone. Oh, you wealthier far than any Christian. I must confess, we come not to be kings. That's not the fault. Allah said the is of you. And crowns come either by succession or urged by force. And nothing violent, all have I heard tell, can be permanent. Give us a peaceful rule. Make Christian schemes that there's so much for principality. I have no charge, no many children. For one sole daughter, Abigail, whom I hold as dear as Agamemnon did his effigy, and all I have is hers. But who comes here? Why, how not, countrymen? What would you thus to me, multitudes? What accidents be tied to the Jews? A fleet of warlike galleys, Barabbas, are come from Turkey and lie in our road, and they this day sit in the council house and entertain them and their embassy. Why let them come so they come not to war, or let them war so we can be conquerors? Nay, let them come back, conquer and kill all, so they spend me my daughter and my wealth. Were it for confirmation of a league, they would not come in warlike manner thus. I fear their coming will afflict us all. Fun men, why dream you of the multitudes? What need they treat of peace that are in league? The Turks and those of Mata are in league. But wait, there is some other matter, isn't it? What, Barabbas, they come for peace or war. Hmm. Happily for neither, but to pass along towards Venice by the Adriatic Sea, with whom they have attempted many times, but never could effect the stratagem. And very wisely said, it may be so. But there's a meeting in the Senate House, and all the Jews in Malta must be there. Hmm. All the Jews in Malta must be there. Oh, you like enough. Why then, let every man provide him and be there for fashion's sake. If anything shall there concern our state, I show yourself I look unto myself. I know you will. Well, brethren, let us go. Let's take our leave. Farewell. <coughs> Good, Barabbas. Farewell. And Barabbas, now search this secret out. Summon thy senses. Call thy wits together. These silly men mistake the matter clean. Long to the Turk did Malta contribute, which should be all in policy, I fear. The Turk has let increase to such a sum as all the wealth of Malta cannot pay. And now, by that advantage, things to seize upon the town oh, that he seeks. I heard the world go. I make sure for one and seek in time to intercept the worst worry God in that which I had got. Ego mi himet sin sepe proximus. Why let them enter? Let them take the town.
And those are the isles that lie between the Mediterranean seas. What's Cyprus, Candy, and those other isles to us, or Malta? What in our hands do you demand? The ten years' tribute that remains unpaid. Oh, alas, my lord, that sum is over great. I hope your highness will consider us. I wish, grave governor, to win my power to favor you. But tis my father's cause, wherein I may not name. I dare not dally. Then give us leave, great Selim Calamath. Stand all aside, and let the knights determine, and send to keep our galleys under sail, for happening we shall not tarry here. Now, Governor, how are you resolved? Thus, since your hard conditions are such that you will needs have ten years' tribute passed, we may have time to make collection amongst the inhabitants of Maltford. That's more than is in our commission, but it's kind of A little courtesy lets know their time. Perhaps it's not long, and tis more keenly to obtain by peace rather than enforce conditions by constraint. What respite ask you, Governor? We need a month. We grant you a month, but see that you keep your promise. Now, launch our galleys back again to sea, where we will attend the respite that you have taken. And for the money, send our messenger. Farewell, great governor. Farewell, great knights of Malta. And all good fortune waits on Calamath. Go on. Call those Jews of Malta immediately. Were they not summoned to appear today? They were, my lord. And here they come. Jews, now come near. From the emperor of Turkey is arrived, great Salim Calamath, his highness's son, to levy us ten years' tribute past. Now then, here know that it concerneth us. <laughs> they good my lord, to keep you quiet still, your lordship should do well to let them have it. Soft, Barabbas. There's more longs to it than so. To what this ten years tribute will amount, that we have cast, but cannot compass it by reason of the wars that robbed our store. And therefore are we to request your aid. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, my lord, we have no soldiers. <laughs> It was our aid against so great a prince. Silence, Jew. We know you're not a soldier. You're a merchant and a money man. And tis thy money, Barabbas, we see. How, my lord, my money? Thine and the rest. For to be short, amongst you must be had. Alas, my lord, the most of us are poor. Then let the rich increase your portions. As strangers with your tribute to be taxed. Have strangers leave with us to get their wealth? Then let them with us contribute. How? Equally? No, Jew. Like infidels. For through our sufferance of your hateful lives, who stand accursed in the sight of heaven, these taxes and afflictions are befallen, and therefore thus we are determined. <coughs> Read the articles of our decrees. First, the tribute money of the Turks shall be all levied amongst the Jews, and each of them to pay one half of his estate. How? Half is the state? I hope you mean not mine. Read on. Secondly, he that denies to pay shall straight become a Christian. How? A Christian? What's he to do? Lastly, he that denies this shall absolutely lose all he has. Oh, my lord, we will give half. Earth, mentally, villains, and no Hebrews wrong. And will you base thee thus to be yourself to leave your goods to their arbitrament? Why? Barabbas, wilt thou be christened? No, governor, we no convert. Then pay thy half. Why, know you what you did by this device? Half of my substance is the city's wealth. Governor, it was no god so easily, no will apart so slightly therewithal. Sir, half is the penalty of our decree. Either pay that, or we will seize all. God, what it is, stay! You should have half. Let me be used as my brethren are. No, Jim. Thou hast denied the articles, and now it cannot be recalled. Will you then steal my goods? Is theft the ground of your religion? No, Jew. We take particularly thine to save the ruin of a multitude. And better one want for a common good than many perish for a private man. 
And yet, Barabbas, we will not banish thee, but here in Malta, where thou godst thy wealth, live still, and if thou canst, get more. Christians, what or how can I multiply? Of naught is nothing made. From naught at first thou camest a little wealth, from little unto more, from more to most. If your first curse fall heavy on thy head, and make thee poor and scorned of all the world, tis not our fault, but thy inherent sin. Do I bring you scripture to confirm your wrongs? Preach me, me not out of my possessions. Some Jews are wicked, as all Christians are. But say the tribe that I descended of were all in general cast away for sin. Shall I be tried by their transgression? The man that did righteously shall live. And which of you can charge me otherwise? Okay, out, wretched Barabbas. Shamest thou not thus to justify thyself, as if we knew not thy profession. If thou rely upon thy righteousness, be patient, and thy riches will increase. Excess of wealth is cause of covetousness, and covetousness, oh, tis a monstrous sin. Oh, but that is worse. Take not from me, then, for that is theft. And if you rob me thus, I must be forced to steal and compass more. Brave governor, at least not to his exclaims, convert his mansion to a nunnery. His house will harbor many poor nuns. It shall be so. Now, officers, have you done? Aye, my lord. We have seized upon the goods and wares of Barabbas, which been valued amount to more than all the wealth in Malta. Hmm. And of the other, we have seized half. Then we'll take order for the rest of it. Well then, my lord, say, are you satisfied? You have my goods, my money, my wealth, my ships and store, and all that I enjoy. And having all, you can request no more, unless your unrelenting flinty hearts suppress all pity in your stony breast, and now shall move you to bereave my life. No, Barabbas. To stain our hands with blood is far from <coughs> us and our profession. Why? I esteem the injury far less to take the lives of miserable men than be the causers of their misery. You have my wealth, the labor of my life, the comfort of my age, my children's hope, and therefore never distinguish of the wrong. Content thee, Rose. Thou hast not but right. Your extreme right does me exceeding wrong, but take it to you in the devil's name. Come. Let us in and gather of these goods the money for this tribute of the Turk. Tis necessary that be looked unto, for if we break our day, we break the league, and that will prove but simple policy. Oi, policy. That's the profession, and not simplicity, as they suggest. Here upon my knees, striking the earth, I ban the souls to everlasting pains and extreme tortures of the fiery deep that those have dealt with me in my distress. Oh, yet be patient, gentle Barabbas. Ah, oh, silly brethren, born to see this day, why stand you thus unmoved with my laments? Why would you not to think upon my wrongs? Why bear not I and die in this distress? But, Barabbas, as hardly can we brook the cruel handling of ourselves in this. Thou seest that they have taken half our goods. Yeah, but what did you yield to the extortion? You were a multitude, and I but one, and of me only have they taken all. Yet, Brother Barabbas, remember Job. Oh, I tell you me of Job. Good Barabbas, be patient. I pray, leave me my patience. You that never possessed of wealth are pleased with want. But give him liberty at least to mourn, that in the field amidst his enemies, that see his soldier slain, himself disarmed, and knows no means of his recovery. Ay, uh, let me sorrow for this sudden chance. Tis in the trouble of my spirit I speak. Great injuries are not so soon forgot. Let me leave thee, Barabbas, in that ireful mood. Our words will but increase thy ecstasy. Come then. Tis a misery to see a man in such affliction. Farewell, Barabbas. Aye, fare you well.
including his own daughter, Abigail, who had recently converted to Christianity. to the help of Itamar, a Turkish slave I bought. That's brave, master. The thing you will not be known. I can eat if we do be secret. For my part, really not. I cut that throat if I did. And reason too. But here is the royal monastery hard by. Good master, let me poison all the monks. I shall not need. For now the nuns are dead. The monks will die with grief. Do you not sorrow for your daughter's death? No, but I pray because she lived so long, and he was born and would become a Christian. That's a diablo! Look, look, master, here comes two religious caterpillars. I smell them here, they came. God of mercy knows. Come, let's be gone. Oh, holy Christians, in the burden of my sin lie heavy on my soul. Then pray you, tell me, is it not too late to turn Christian? Hmm. I have been zealous in the Jewish faith, hard-hearted to the poor, a covetous wretch that would for not crusade have sold my soul. A hundred for a hundred I have taken, and now for store of wealth may I compare with all the Jews in Malta. But what is wealth? I am a Jew, and therefore am I lost. Would the man serve to atone for this my sin, I could afford to whip myself to death. And so could I. My penance will not serve. To fast, to pray, to wear a shirt of hair, and on my knees creep to Jerusalem. In Florence, Venice, Antwerp, London, Seine, Frankfurt, Lubeck, Money, and where not have I debt owing? And in most of these, great sum of money lying in the bank. And this I give to some religious house, so I may be baptized and live therein. Now, gentlemen, betake you to your arms and see that Malta be well fortified. And it behaves you to be resolute, for Calibath, having hovered here so long, will win the town or die before the walls. And die he shall, for we will never yield. I go along. Dogs do not help me thus. No, me neither. I've been an hour on constable. Oh, my belly! One drum of powder more had me not sure what a dead slave was I. Make fires, heat irons, let the rack be fetched. Nay, stay, my lord. Maybe he will confess. Confess? What do you mean, lord? Who should confess? Thou, and thy Turkish slave. It was thee that slew my son and the nuns. Guilty, my lord. I confess. Your son and Matthias were both contracted on the bar Barabbas' daughter Abigail. Barabbas the Jew forged a counterfeit challenge. And who carried that challenge? I carried it, I confess. But who would read it? Harry, if he the strong one, the friar, poisoned the nuts, and his own daughter! Away with him! His sight is death to me. For what you make no matter, he will speak. And he, my good man, let me have law, for none of these can prejudice my life. Once more, away with him! You shall have more. Devils, do your worst. I live in spite of you. As for these as spoke, so be to the souls. I hope the poison flowers will work anon. Was thy Matthias murdered by the Jew? Governor Fernese, t'was thy son that murdered him. Be patient. It was he. He forged the daring challenge, made them fight. That Jew, that murderer, is now in prison till the law has passed on him. My lord, 
Barabbas the Jew is dead. Dead? Dead, my lord. And here we bring his body. This sudden death of his is very strange. Whether or not at, sir, the heavens are just. His death was like his life. Then think not of him. Since he is dead, let him be buried. For the Jews' body, throw that over the walls to be a prey for vultures and wild beasts. So bow away and fortify the town. Is in danger. 
And what boots it thee, poor Barabbas, to be the governor when thy life shall be at their command? No, Barabbas, this must be looked into, and since by wrong thou had the authority, maintain me bravely by firm policy. Great Fernese! Yes, my lord. <laughs> my lord, thou slaves will learn. Now, governor, this is the reason that I sent for thee. Thus is thy life and Martha's happiness are at my arbitrament. And Barabbas, at his discretion, may dispose of both. Now tell me, governor, plainly too, what thinkest thou shalt become of it and thee? This, Barabbas, since things are in thy power, I see no reason but of Malta's wreck, nor hope of thee but extreme cruelty, nor fear I death, nor will I flatter thee. <laughs> governor, good words, be not so furious. It is not thy life which can obey me aught. Yet you do live, and live for me you shall. And as for Martha's ruin, think you not with slender policy for Barabbas to dispose of himself of such a place. For as a friend not known but in distress, I will rub Martha now remedious. Will Barabbas recover Martha's loss? Will Barabbas be good to Christians? What will you give me, governor, to procure a dissolution of the slavish bands wherein the Turk hath yoked your land and you? What will you give me if I render you the life of Cadmath, surprise his men, and in an outhouse of the city shut his soldiers till have consumed them all with fire? What will you give me that procure you this? Do but bring this to pass, which thou pretendest. Deal truly with us as thou intimatest. And I will send amongst the citizens, and by my letters, privately procure great sums of money for thy recompense. Nay, more. Do this, and live thou governor still. Nay, do thou this, Venice, and be free. Governor, I enlarge thee. Live with me. Go walk about the city, see thy friends. Touch. Send not letters to them. Go thyself, and let me see what money thou can raise for me. And here is my hand that I set Malta free forever. And thus we cast it. To a solemn feast, I will invite young Selim Kalimath, where be thou present, only to perform one stratagem that I impart to thee, wherein no danger should be tied thy life, and I will warrant Malta free forever. Here is my hand. Believe me, Barabbas, I will be there and do as you desire. When is the time? Governor! Presently, for Calimant, when he had viewed the town, would take his leave and sail toward Ottoman. Then will I, Barabbas, about this coin, and bring it with me to thee in the evening. Do so, but fail not. Now farewell, Fernese. <laughs> and do far only goes the business. Thus loving neither will I live with both making a profit of my policy. And he from whom my most advantage comes shall be my friend. This is the life we Jews are used to live, and reason too, for Christians do the like. Well, now about effecting this device. First, to surprise great selling soldiers, and then to make provision for the feast, that at one instant all things may be done. My policy detests prevention. To what event my secret purpose drives, I know, and they show witness with their lives. <laughs>
Law shot the basilisks we rent in Sunder at our entry. And now I see the situation, and how secure this conquered island stands, environed with the Mediterranean Sea, strong countermined with other petty isles, and toward Calabria backed by Sicily, two lofty turrets that command the town. I wonder how it can be thus conquered. From Barabas, Malta's governor, I bring a message unto mighty Kalmyth. Fearing his sovereign was bound for sea to send to Turkey to a great Ottoman, he humbly would entreat your majesty to come and see his homely citadel, and banquet with him ere thou leave the isle. To banquet with him in his citadel. I fear me, messenger, to feast my trade within the town of war so lately pillaged, will be too costly and too troublesome. Yet would I gladly visit Barbarus, for well, Barbarus hath deserved us. Sell him, for that, thus saith the governor, that he hath in his store a pearl so big, so precious, and with also orient, as be it valued but indifferently, the price thereof will serve to entertain Selim and all his soldiers for a month. Therefore, he humbly would entreat your highness not to depart until he has feasted you. I cannot feast my men in Malta walls, except he places his tables in the streets. Note, Selim, that there is a monastery which standeth as an outhouse to the town. Well, tell the governor we grant his suit. We will this summer evening feast with him. I shall, my lord. And now, bold masters, let us to our tents and mediate how we may grace us best to solemnize our governor's great feast. In this, my countrymen, be ruled by me. Have special care that no man sally forth till you shall hear a culverin discharged by him that bears the linstock kindled thus, and then issue out and come to rescue me. For happily I shall be in distress, or you released of this servitude. Rather than thus to leave us in Turkey's thralls, what will we not adventure? On then. Be gone. Farewell, great governor. And if you like, then drink your fill and die. Also, I may perish me all the world. Now, said in Kalimath, return me word that thou wilt come, and I am satisfied. Now, what? Will he come? He will. And has commanded all his men to come ashore and march through Malta streets, that thou may feast them in thy citadel. Then are uh, all the things as my wish would have them. There was nothing but the governor's death. <laughs> and see, he brings it. Now, Governor, the sum, with free consent, a hundred thousand pounds. <laughs> pounds, said the Governor, well, since it is no more, I satisfy myself with that. Nay, keep it still, for if I keep no promise, trust not me. And Governor, now partake my policy. Now, as for Kalimath and his concert, here have I made a dainty gallery. The floor whereof this cable being cut, that fall asunder, so that it doth sink into a deep pit past recovery. Here, take a knife, and when thou seest he comes, and with his vassal should be blackly set, a warning pin should be shut off from the tower to give thee knowledge when to cut the cord and fire the house. Say, would not this be great? Oh, excellent. Here. Hold thee, Barabbas, I trust thy word. Take what I promised thee. No, Governor, I satisfied thee first. Thou shalt not live in doubt of anything. Stand close, for here they come. Oh, hey.
salón a dejar. Señores, Elio esté en sus ayunas. No lleves cansos olores. Si hablo palabras crudas. Si I'm not.